Okay, so hi, I don't usually do vlogs and now we're in the car because I simply parked somewhere beside Sirim Bukit Jaleo. It's actually right opposite of Pavilion Bukit Jaleo. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm gonna test some 5G. And for some reason, I tested out with quite a lot of phones actually, but one of the listed phones that supports 5G right now is this one, the Mi 10T Pro. And I ordered the Yes 4G, no, they should be called Yes 5G now I think. <laughs> anyway, I ordered the Yes 5G SIM card just for testing, it's 30 bucks. If you want to test it out, you can order it right away on their website. It's very easy to do so. And I got my SIM card early, so today we are going to test some 5G. And let's just go with it. Okay, so as you can see here, what we have is a total of three different speed test apps. So we got speed test by Okla, the most common one ever. The second one is from OpenSignal and the third one is from Netflix, which is the fast.com. So as you can see here, we got 5G on the Mi 10T Pro and it's kind of a surprise because our office is actually at the borderline of 5G, but I can't seem to get any signal. So I have to drive all the way out here and just test 5G anyway. So let's start off with the Uclass test. We will just hit go. Wait, what? Wow. Hey, what? Gigabit speeds. Oh my god. This is real fast. So as you can see here, it's more than a thousand megabits per second. This is not megabytes. If you want to get the megabytes, you need to divide this number by eight. So upload speeds is hmm, kind of slow actually, 133 megabits per second. But yeah, overall, that's the first 5G test. As you can see here, the amount of loss is actually quite high. And I kind of understand why since the coverage of 5G isn't that good. I'm actually in a miraculous area that 5G is actually supported. I Actually, I chose this place. It's actually called the Earth of Bukit Jalil. And the reason why I chose this place is because it's beside Sirim and the 5G tower is right beside Sirim as shown in this picture here and I'm hiding right beside it. So let's do it again. 5G test, here goes. Speed test. I mean, it's gonna hover around 1000 megabits per second, somewhere around there, 1001. And I don't have the Mi 11T, the Xiaomi 11T Pro to test with me. So I'll just use this phone. This is the only phone that I have that is supported in the list of phones according to DNB's website. So yeah, I mean, it works. 5G is here. Let's proceed with the second test is from OpenSignal here. So we'll do speed test first and we'll see how things go. Latency is real low though. I really like that. So we also get like one gigabit per second. That's good. I am more curious about the upload speed. So upload speed, we got about 100 something, which is yeah, pretty similar with the speed test. So now let's jump on to fast and see how things go. Again, this is from Netflix. So let's see how it works. Oh, I just saw 1.1. That's good. Oh, there we go. 1.1, 1.2. I mean, 5G is exciting, right? And I'm more interested in the total amount of throughput and also the latency, but the upload speed seems to be a bit low so far. So yeah, latency is low. Speed, upload speed is quite disappointing, I would say. As of now, it's, you see, it's jumping all around. Um, yeah. So there's a quick test of 5G here in Malaysia using the YES SIM card. Okay, that's a very quick and unscientific way of testing 5G. I literally just popped in the SIM card, go wherever they say it's 5G, and then park my car there and test the 5G. Um, so far, the download speed is promising. It hit gigabit speeds, but the upload speed is concerning, and the latency, I would still say it's actually good. So, yeah, coverage is also quite worrying at this point in time. I mean, it's still in the early stages of 5G. So earlier when I was taking a turn into this place, I saw 5G, I hit the speed test and uh, it got to about 700-ish download speed, megabits, I mean. Um, then I took a turn and after that turn, the upload speed just completely cut off and then it didn't complete the testing at all because 
5G dropped. Of course, 5G's coverage is real spotty right now, but as what I know, DNB is currently still in the process of improving the coverage of 5G here in Selangor area and even Kuala Lumpur for that matter. So it's a matter of time for them to expand coverage to cover the entire country, but it will definitely take some time, but at least we are seeing something right now rather than just sitting around waiting, buying 5G phones and then we can't use them. You know, at least now we can put some of our 5G phones to use and yeah, that's it. That's all we have to share with you about 5G here in Malaysia. Um, we will definitely do a bit more scientific tests when we have the proper coverage, proper devices to do so and yeah, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you guys in the next video.